On today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the top items for brand new co-anglers to get before you start fishing in bass tournaments. Stay tuned, it's coming up. Alrighty, y'all, Lou here from Beyond the Bounce. This is a channel geared towards bass fishing gear reviews, tournament footage, anything related to bass fishing. I do that here on the channel. So if you like that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get into today's topic, which is talking about some of the top items that you need to get for your upcoming co-angler season, or if this is your first season to ever be a co-angler, these are some must-haves. So let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so the first item that you need to get that is just an absolute must, and this, I can't harp on this enough, and to not skimp on this is some type of bib system, some type of foul weather system. I personally use gill. I became pro staff with gill during my first year of owning a boat. Um, I didn't re-up my pro staff or anything, but it allowed me to get access to things that I knew I absolutely needed because I was gonna be fishing in all kinds of weather. I don't care whether it's snowing, sleeting, raining, um, even hailing sometimes. I've had, I've been in, been in it all. Because I'm no longer affiliated with Gill, I can absolutely tell you uh, my absolute truth about these bib systems. I've been thoroughly happy with them, completely happy and impressed with them. Um, they've got a good racing heritage, a good sailing heritage, um, and you know they're in the fishing industry and making very good quality outerwear. But one of the things that I did specifically was I bought both a cold weather set and a warm weather set so that I could fish so that I could fish during all types of weather and still be very comfortable because I didn't want to have a really heavy cold weather system at wearing that during the summer. And the one thing that I liked that I did with this system was, you know, I got a little bit smaller of a pants leg. I hate walking around with these super baggy pants that you see some people walking around with with some of the other outerwear systems. All right, and here's the jacket that I purchased with this. It's, they've got good good straps and everything to help keep you dry when need be, but you know, this isn't really about the gill systems that I have. It's really about the items that a co-angler needs. Um, again, I got I went with a slimmer system for my summer outfit. The hood's tucked up under here, underneath the collar uh, when I need it. All right, so those are, this is my warmer weather system, which has absolutely been perfect for fishing in Texas during December in this beautiful 70 degree weather that we've had over Christmas time. Um, I wear mediums. I'm about 5'7", 180 pounds. Uh, give or take a, a chili burrito or something here or there. All right, so let me get into the cold weather system. Again, it's also uh, a medium as well. And you can see that it's not overly baggy by any means, um, which is what I like about it. It's important, again, to have two systems. And I'll show you kind of, especially from a co-angler's perspective, why you'll really like this jacket by Gill. This is the FG2 suit, fully insulated, both bibs, and jacket. So let me put this on and show you some other features to this. Alrighty y'all, so this is the complete system right here. This is the insulated FG2 suit. I've loved this suit from the get-go. Uh, one of the key features, actually two key features, I mean, it's got all the waterproofing features that you need and some of the best in the market for keeping you dry in colder weather. But let us let me show you two things specifically. One being the hood. Now this hood will stay up if I'm running. So if I'm running, it vents air through this hood and will completely stay up. It won't pull off and start choking you or anything, which is really important. But the next part for a co-angler specifically is gonna be this face shield. So let me show you this face shield real fast. And now I'm gonna bend it down a little bit so that I can talk. You'll see that it actually comes up there and covers my face very effectively. And then if you cinch it down, you can have a really tight system that's protecting you in your head when you're sitting in the co-angler position. And, like I, and also, like I said, this isn't gonna blow back on you either. You know, there've been times where I've needed this suit fishing in Florida. So as a co-angler, I cannot harp on it enough. Do not cheap out on your outerwear system. You're talking hypothermia, you're talking death. If you don't get the right system for you, it'll make your day on the water very miserable. 
But the other thing too is you need a good bib system as well to keep from that water going down and running down your back. Don't get your little tramp stamp wet down there. Make sure you keep it nice and dry and purdy. That's where the bib system is really important because it lets the water hit this beat up and then drop down over the bib system. I gotta get out of this because I'm getting hot here in December. All right, so let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to see a more thorough review of those two systems. All right, guys, next on the co-angler must-have list is absolutely a good tackle management system. I've done a couple videos about this bag right here. It's very inexpensive. You can buy it at Bass Pro. It's very rugged. It holds up. It'll do great if you're just looking for a bag to go out on, on banks and bank fish. So right here, check this bag out at Bass Pro. This is the co-angler bag, runs about $40 or less depending on where you find it and when you find it. All right guys, so a couple more key items to have as a co-angler. Uh, first is gonna be a life vest. Don't assume that your boater is gonna have one. Uh, this is a pretty good style. It's a, it auto inflates. Um, I will say that the issue with these is, especially as a co-angler, I mean, you're putting your life in the hands of somebody else and every boater should, should treat a co-angler exactly as the same as you're taking their life in your hands and drive your boat accordingly. But I can't say that there's not gonna be guys that you're gonna get out there and they're, they've got a brand new gambler, a brand new bullet, and they just like, I can hit 80, so I'm gonna hit 80. Going fast definitely isn't the most important thing, but having the right PFD absolutely is. And there are some PFDs that are rated for flipping you over if you are ejected from the boat or if your boat flips or something you know, they will actually turn you over because in the instance of you getting knocked out from hitting the water super hard, that you might need that to turn you over and upright so that you're actually breathing air, not breathing water, which is where these will fall short. So, you know, take that into consideration. I like these because they're pretty darn comfortable, but at the same time, they make different Coast Guard level approved PFDs. Uh, the next item on the list is a safe face goggles or something very similar. Maybe you can get away with a paintball mask. So this is very important to have from the co-angler perspective because a lot of the time you don't have a console. So having something like this to protect you from bugs and who knows what other kind of debris might fly up. Some tournaments you should absolutely have a helmet. You might be fishing, say, Kentucky Lake and you got Asian carp jumping up and so forth. You might need a helmet for that event. So, you know, plan accordingly for that and for your event. But just know that having one of these is very important for a co-angler who doesn't have a console, who's getting hit by all kinds of water. It helps keep your face dry, uh, especially during the winter when it's colder and you're getting hit by you know, spray that's coming up sometimes. It's gonna make a whole lot of difference to have this. And trust me, when it's cold and you've got maybe a, a net gator up and you've got this down, you're pretty peachy, especially if you follow the first rule that I talked about and buy the first items that I talked about, which are those bib systems, insulated bib systems, or just having a bib and a great jacket. You're gonna be nice and toasty and feeling good. I've been in situations to where I'm just getting blasted by water over the side as a co-angler because that's the way that the boat has to go to get back to check-in. We can't just, you know, go completely out of our way to get back to check-in when check-in's this way and the wind's blowing directly onto you and you're hitting those waves and water's coming over the side and you're getting completely drenched and having the time of your life, by the way. Needless to say, you know, these, these are the items that are crucial for a first year co-angler. Now I can't leave you without giving you at least one rod recommendation, one rod and reel recommendation for a co-angler. So let's get into that. All right guys, so, you know, for a rod recommendation, uh, let me tell you, this is a rod that I've been able to use everywhere. It's a rod that goes everywhere and anywhere and does everything. Anything that you want at it, this rod can do. This is the medium heavy fast action TP1 multi-purpose rod. Now there are a few other rods in the lose lineup that are multi-purpose rods, but for a co-angler, a multi-purpose rod paired with the right line, say like a 12 pound, is gonna get you through a lot of different presentations and it's gonna be the one rod that's basically gonna do everything that you need it to do. Square bill crankbaits, yes. Spinner baits, yes. Texas rigs, yes. Jigs, yes. I've done everything on this rod and it handles everything that you want to throw at it. And like I said, it's gonna work all the way from 
Lake Champlain, Thousand Islands, you can throw a spy bait on this if you want. You may not be the best thing to throw a spy bait on, but you know what? You're a co-angler, you've got limited presentations, you can't bring 50 rods like I can as a boater up here. So having one rod that's gonna be able to do so many things is very critical for a co-angler. And that's why I recommend any of the multi-purpose series rods that Luz offers. Uh, just to give you a real recommendation to go along with that, if you can find these on maybe eBay or something, a Tournament MB is a fantastic reel. It has different reel gear ratios. So, you know, pick the one that's right for you, for your situation. This is a 5.6. I've upgraded the reel handles to the knobs, which I absolutely love. And it's a fantastic reel that just has blown me away from the get-go. And I bet you could probably pick these up for... 70 bucks or so now. So, you know, this $100 rod paired with a $70 reel now, used to be a $150 reel, but I think they've uh, moved away from them and not aren't producing them anymore. At least they're not up on the website anymore. But you know what, that's a reel that I highly recommend if there's one reel, one lose reel to start with, that's not a BB1, Tournament MB. All right guys, so there you have it. That is my list of items, the must haves for first time co-anglers, or if you're starting a new co-angler season, you know, don't cheap out on the bib system and go get you just some pullover pants. You're gonna regret that. It's a bad decision. You need a good bib system. You need a good tackle management system, and you need some of these other items out there to stay safe, stay comfortable, on the water as a co-angler this year. So thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.